so okay so here we've got the crowd cheered for prince harry as he arrived at saint paul's cathedral today so i did see something i think on reuters that sounded very good it says the prince is in the uk to celebrate the invictus games but will not see his father this is tower and country by the way tower and country mag.com and here is the duke I should say the prince because soon they may, he may not be a duke if they have their way, right? And it says here, Prince Harry's popularity in the UK has declined since he and Meghan walked away from real life four years ago. However, there were plenty of people keen to see him. How the hell do you start an article like that? And then you say, however, there were plenty of people keen to see him as he arrived at St. Paul's Cathedral today for a service marking 10 years of the Invictus Games. I mean, if his popularity has declined, then why are there plenty of people keen to see him? Why open with his popularity have declined? I mean, as as like your thesis sentence. Oh my God, even this magazine is full of it. Anyway, there were a lot, there were some loud chairs from those gathered. All I heard were chairs. Did you guys hear any booze at all in all of the media videos that were released i didn't even hear a single boo she goes there were some loud chairs which suggests there were some loud boos as well right or loud or not loud boos but i heard nothing so why say that there were some loud chairs from those gathered outside the cathedral when harry arrived just before 5 p.m the prince waved as he walked up the steps alone and turned to give it i wish megan was there with him but i know i know sussex but i know oh my god i still wish megan had gone with her husband anyway the prince waved as he walked up the steps alone even inside the church when i saw him inside the church sitting you know she should have been right next to her husband all right, don't tell anybody else. Don't tell Sussex what I said that. Okay, that's just between you and me, okay? It's just my thought. It's just my thought, okay? Okay, so the prince waved as he walked up the steps alone and turned to give another wave before entering the building. My God, they, they have the details down to the two waves, huh? The service of Thanksgiving celebrates the 10th anniversary of the games that Harry founded in 2040. At least they're still giving him credit for finding, for creating the games, right? The initiative has since been credited with transforming the lives of wounded and six seven. I think they're giving him the credit there, right? Um, it says here, Harry's fleeting presence in the UK has been dominated by a discussion about the fact that he's... I mean, maybe that's a whole other thing. That's why I don't want him to go to the UK anymore because the minute he goes to the UK, it doesn't matter what the reason he's going for, they turn it into his father and his brother. These, these two... Okay, don't say it. It's too early in the morning. Okay, so Kensington Palace and Buckingham Palace has been, have been silent on the subject, but Harry's team issued a telling statement yesterday saying that the prince was unable to see his father due to the king's commitments, and he hopes to see him soon. At the same time as Harry attended a service in St. Paul's, the king and queen were meeting guests at the first garden party at the season at Buckingham Palace. And guess what? You know what I was thinking? That, you know, this statement that Harry's people issued saying that um his the king's commitments i wonder if harry um you know even how do i put this in other words it could have been harry who said you know what you can't come to my games you're so busy with your your party be busy with your party be busy with your party right i'm not even going to make an effort to see your such and such face okay Put a sock in it. Put a sock in it. And this is the nicest way I could think of saying what I really want to say. <laughs> I could really say something utterly, utterly inappropriate. But yeah, put a sock in it, right? I'm not, you know, be busy, right? It could have been Harry. He's busy. You'll see him another time. He didn't even attempt to see his father. But they're jumping to the conclusion that the king said he didn't have time to see Harry. No, he probably thought Harry was going to but desperately come see him for five minutes. They're like, you know what? Put a sock in it. Put a sock in it. I don't want to see you anyway. But you know what? I wish Harry would stop going to the UK because I, I can't deal with this crap anymore. I can't deal with it anymore. I've had enough. I've reached my saturation point. Okay. 
You know what was also very, very interesting about this this afternoon's garden party? Uh, which the press has not emphasized quite a bit. Is the fact that William and Kate, but especially William, because we know that Kate can't come to the phone right now. <laughs> we know Kate can't come to the phone right now. Um, William was not at the garden party, you guys. What do you think about that? Especially since he just got this honor of taking Harry's work, Harry's sweat, blood, and tears from what he fought in Afghanistan. And he got these, you know, this title slash honor slash medals, whatever. And they're taking it and shoving it onto William. And he's going to now... Apparently, I heard on some one of the YouTube channels that William's going to fly an Apache on Monday. I hope the weather is good and the skies are clear, right? That's all I can say, right? Because there was another Prince William who went down, you know, in, in his... It wasn't an Apache, but it was an airplane. It could be bad luck. I would say, don't show off, you guys. Don't put William into the skies. But whatever, whatever happens, happens. I'm here for it, right? But the thing is that I digressed, and now I don't remember what I was going to say, but William was not at the garden party. William was not at the garden party, but Harry got all these chairs, you know, people cheering. I didn't hear anybody being ugly and horrible and booing, which I know the media would have loved. Not even one. It was only chairs for Harry. And I'm like, I'm glad for Harry, but I still think he should stop going to the UK. But look, it, it's just my opinion. People come on here. Don't tell him what to do. Listen, it's my YouTube channel where I express my opinion. You don't want to hear my opinion. You go to somebody else's YouTube channel. It's no problem for me. But don't come to my channel. I express my opinion and you are here to hear my opinion because I'm sure you're not here for me to sit here silently and not say nothing. And you say sit there silently listening to the nothing. You're here to hear something, right? Then I express my opinion and you're like, oh, don't tell them what to do. I'm not telling them what to do. I'm expressing my opinion, okay? Now I forgot what I was going to say because I digressed. But yeah, so William was not at the garden party, which is very curious to me, and certainly neither was Kate, but Harry got all these chairs, 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 and they can't handle it, like the, the total science in the media on the chairs and the fact that Mil William was not at the garden party. What do you think about the fact that William was not at this garden party? Honestly, King Charles is horrible. He's a horrible horrible, 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 horrible excuse for a father for what he did. I will never forgive him. I, whatever little bit of like regard and respect I was trying to hold on to for him, out the window, kaput, done, done, finished, right? He's right up there with the Archbishop of Canterbury. However, if I were Harry, I would never step foot on UK soil again. But anyway, they loved him. So I guess maybe he would go back just for them because they do love him. They do love him. I still wish Megan was there. Don't tell the Sussex father he said that. Anyway, that's all for this one. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.